All right, so today we're going to go over how to create an account and upload images for our online printing services. Um, you got to go to mccamera.com. Um, my computer's default is the home page, but just in case yours doesn't do that, uh, there's the URL right there. Um, once you get to our website, you can click on online printing up here or down right here. Um, you can uh, order prints without making an account, but it's really better to create an account. It gives you a lot more options and you can store images digitally um, over on our server and uh, it helps keep everything streamlined. Now we need uh, just a, a couple basic information things uh, as you would with any other online account. Um, just a name and email address. Uh, you can create your own password. Um, you can also uh, use your Facebook login to create an account. Um, the thing with using Facebook is, though you can bring your images over directly from Facebook, it's really better to always upload the original images. Uh, they're much higher quality. Facebook compresses everything down to help with storage. And uh, if you want to make sure you're getting the highest quality print you can, uh, you want to always make sure you're uploading directly from your computer with the original images. Um, make sure you accept the terms and conditions. Um, and if you were to log in with the Facebook, you would just click this and click that and then uh, enter your Facebook login. Be good to go. Uh, we're finished here, so I can click next. And then we'll get here. Um, you can build a lot of different creative products, um, photo books, posters, cards, and things like that, but we're just going to go uh, with some basic prints for now. Uh, start a new collection. Um, this helps keep everything nice and organized. I'm going to name this prints. And now upload my images. Um, again, that's for, for very large photos, uh, large format stuff. This is just regular prints. So I'm going to go to my desktop, my photos. I have several images here. I'm going to just shift and click and bring all those in at once. Now, depending on your internet connection, this will take a varied amount of time. Um, my images here are all very high resolution, they're high, high quality, so this might take a bit longer than it would um, if you were using slightly smaller images. But these, uh, these high resolution images will definitely make some really nice prints. All right, and once you get here and you get everything uploaded, you can see all of your images are stored to this collection. And um, one one thing that you want to do, um, there are a lot of editing options on this website. I'm not going to get too into them, but the one thing I will show you here is that um, you want to make sure you select your prints, um, the the size and the number for each photo that you are going to have printed out. So you can see I'm selecting one 4x6 for each of these. Get a little green banner confirming that I want that. Um, now the one editing thing I, I will show you here is to make sure that your image matches the dimensions of the print that you want. So I selected a 5x5 five five print of this image, which is a square. So I'm going to click that square option and make sure that I'm not going to end up losing a large part of my image or anything here. I'm losing very little, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply. Save that. Um, as I mentioned, this I lost so little there that I'm, when I get the next option here, I'm just going to replace the original file with this one because they are so similar. Um, if they had been very different, I would have saved a second copy um, just to preserve that original and it, its full quality and everything else. Um, so now I can go ahead and click check out. Um, once again, it's just showing me, you know, like you did crop this image. Make sure that this is the way you want it to look. It is. So I'll click next um, here. Uh, you get an option for special instructions, anything, um, your, fi your finish, you can do a glossy or a matte. You can also do a gift order um, here, just a brief summary, any promotional codes that you might have, uh, you can enter here as well. Um, clicking next um, is the pickup location, which is our store uh, in Warrenton, right off Lee Highway. Uh, our phone number is also there in case you want to call us and get an idea of when everything will be done. Um, so for this, uh, we would really appreciate getting a phone number from you. That way we can contact you and let you know when your prints are ready. Um, well, you don't have to keep calling us or just coming in hoping that 
they'll be ready. Uh, if we can get that phone number, we'll be able to call you and let you know exactly when everything is done and you can come in and pick up your prints. Um, and for, for billing uh, information, you can, you can just click on the pay in store option up here. Um, no reason to do anything online. This way you can come in and kind of look at the prints, make sure they look how you want them and everything else. Um, so here you'll get a detailed order review and you can go ahead and click place order and you'll be given a confirmation number which I recommend holding on to at least until you pick up your prints. Um, we have all this information stored in our system but never hurts to have a little bit of backup insurance. So um, you can continue shopping. Um, I'm done so I'm going to go ahead and sign out and uh, I hope this has been helpful and hope to see some beautiful prints.